First of all, thank, thank you guys for coming. Uh, I'm Mr. Can Gürle. Uh, I'm a PhD student at Marmara University in Turkey. Uh, I'm a GSOC student for in Debian community, and I'm working on development of WebRTC plugins. Uh, I'm really happy to be here. This is my first TEPConf, and I'm really happy to meet the community. And I'm Kirtna K. I actually had a talk earlier in the weekend, open weekend, so I hope some of you have seen it, and if not, I'm also a GSOC intern. I'm from India, I'm from South India, and it's great to meet all of you. Thank you for coming. And we'll be talking about the work we've done and the work we hope to complete in our GSOC project. Our main project is improving voice, video, and chat for free and open source software. And we hope you'll enjoy that. Thank you. And we both are working on development of WebRTC plugins. And so far, we, we have developed uh, WordPress one, and MediaWiki plugin is about to arrive. It's almost finished. And we will give you some details about what we have done and what's the progress. First, uh, why we choose WordPress? W WordPress powers more than 24% of the web. It's really huge. And the number is rising all, all the time. Uh, it started to be a simple blogging system. But now it's a complex portal. You can build enterprise websites. Uh, you c it's a fully uh, CMS. And you can build applications. It's really w what you want. All of us are used to WordPress because I'm sure a lot of people here even have WordPress blogs. Even if not sitting here, people watching it through the live stream or the video, if you're seeing me, I'm sure you can relate or you've seen what uh, WordPress blog because WordPress is that common. And we urgently needed a plugin, and that's what Mr. has done. So he'll be talking first about his plugin. And uh, I would like to talk about a little, a little bit about WebRTC. Uh, WebRTC brings audio and video chat to our web applications, to browsers, and we don't need to install any plugins to use it. And it also gives us opportunity to uh, transfer data between peers. And there is no complex code, uh, no, complex code no, no expensive infrastructure behind it, and the browsers are fully su supported. Uh, all the mo modern browsers are already support WebRTC, and most of browsers that you are using already supports WebRTC now. And it has really a huge potential to reach billions of device, devices already. So WebRTC is a free open source alternative to uh, more proprietary software like Skype. So I know everybody here is free open source software people. So we guess we'd be really excited. So we have something to level the playing field with all these pro proprietary software. Uh, our goal wa was to uh, allow users to video and audio chat on WordPress. At first, we can allow users to exchange files, but at first, we, des we decided to allow users to video and audio chat first. And we write write plugin to support that. I would like to deep go a, a little bit deeper in WordPress. It started at 2003. Uh, it's a fully open source project. Uh, it, it has lots of thousands of plugins, widgets, themes, and has evolved to be a full, full content management system. Uh, WordPress has started to be a, a just simple blog web page, and now it's a you can really build complex applications and you can do whatever you want with WordPress. And it's designed under GPL version 2. It's a fresh software, but its roots and development go back to 2001. It's mature and stable. And it gives, it's, it's really simple to create some pages. And it's really flexible. And you can easily publish your document, publish your writings. And it has really huge publishing tools support. And you, WordPress has already built in user management, media management, and it's already full standard compliance. Uh, you, you can extend WordPress using plugins. 
it, it, it has already built in commands, and it's already search engine optimized, and it supports over 70 languages. Easy installation, easy upgrades, and you can own your data, and it's free, and there is a huge community supporting WordPress. And it, it has really low requirements. You can just use PHP version 5.6 and MySQL version 5.6 or MariaDB version 10 or hi higher. But it supports lower than that. But the, the lower versions are, not, are end of life. So at least you need to use these versions. WordPress is very user friendly. And so once you start using it, you realize how simple to use it is. And the, the support team is very great. So in case you have an error, chances are if you look at the error logs or one of the discussion forums that somebody else has already had it because it's a huge community and the great support that you can get. And you just only need a modern browser to, that supports WebRTC. And the software architecture is just like this. We, we hold a web server that hosts um, WordPress. And we use GS Communicator to communicate with each other. The user first HTTP GET request the server and loads the WordPress page. There is a built-in plugin that supports uh, WebRTC. For signaling mechanism, uh, we use SIP over WebSockets. And we signal each other. And then the RTP media uh, can flow to through peer between peers, and we can use a turn server if we if we are behind the net. Um, so, if you had seen, there is a, a part called JS Communicator over there. If somebody is not clear, JS Communicator is the user end code that you have to integrate into your um, website. So, in in when you are using the WP Call plugin, we'll JS Communicator. JS Communicator will obviously be inside the plugin, but you can also host uh, WebRTC directly from your um, HTML page or your website by using HTML JS Communicator. So JS Communicator is this beautiful piece of very elegant and very simple code. Uh, it's written with uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and you can just integrate it into your web page. Now our plugin is called VP Call. You can just see VP call inside the uh, under the plugins tab. Uh, you can in install or activate it easily. And the, we already have a uh, options page. It, it's under settings. Uh, it's really hard to read from here, but it's under settings. You can uh, ch change the settings. And on the front uh, front end, we have this size of widget. Uh, it, it shows that the WebSocket link is connected and uh, SIP registration is registered. If both, both situations are in this place, so we can easily call any destination we want. We enter a SIP address here, and we can prefer to use audio or video call. During calling, uh, the screen goes into this form. This is the test time address. We can call now. We, we can enter the call, or we can enter a number. Yeah, so we'll be moving on from Media to from WordPress to MediaWiki. MediaWiki is the part that I've been working on. It's not complete yet, but it's work in progress. And something, uh, if you could go back one slide into the architecture. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay, thank you. So if people are confused, the SIP over there is session initiation protocol. We use an SIP proxy in this network. So that the SIP proxy is the address to which you give inside. Um, can you change it again to the front end? Uh, yeah. So you have to enter your SIP proxy, and that is how the calling functions. So that is the thing that, that makes the whole system works. So I'll come back to my uh, media wiki. So I've been creating this form to input data and all that. My front end has been done. I'm still working on um, uh, transferring the data in between from this to the back end. And this is basically work in progress. It's 
I think my suits is almost complete. I'm pretty sure I checked it and I found out. So you, you'll have to wait at least one, one week or more for my work to be done. And um, uh, like this is basically how it will look like once it's done. So there are some options here. You can have a video call, you can have an audio call, and this is all, all th the things that you can find in a Skype call or in a Google Hangout. So we're just, we're just building that for FOSS. So um, this is a prototype model. The, the end product may vary. Uh, so that's what we have, that's what we've been doing, and um, what you're going to what's happening next is uh, there. We are happy to announce that when we complete the video wiki and VP call, we are straight to go to the Joomla, Redmine, and Django plugins. We are not just going to uh, develop these plugins to use inside the, that CMS. We are going to uh, connect each CMS system to connect to each other. And we can use uh, rtc.debian.org. You can be using rtc.debian.org or any website. Uh, you can use any CMS. CMS system to use our plugin. So our plugin all connects each other. You can talk to any of them. So something I'd like to add was that our mentor had already created a plugin for Drupal called Drew Call. Uh, unfortunately, he forgot to list it. But uh, that is already functional. It's a module in Drupal. And that is one of the sources that we had. So that was the model that we are basing it on. And if anybody uses Br Drupal, you can go check out that that module as well, and um, we are very grateful for them because they are advising us and they're, they're telling us how to do this. And so that's basically it. Please do contact us. Um, I, my MediaWiki plugin is not completely done, and I do have some some issues in the back end because I'm very unfamiliar with the MediaWiki formatting and all that. So we're working through that. And so we'd love to hear from you. Uh, we'd love your feedback if you try using one of our plugins because they're all very new. These are all beta, um, you know, new new releases. And so we thank the Debian community for your support and everything. So any questions? We could take questions. Thank you. So the, the talk of the title mentioned free RTC. Uh, how does that fit into this, and how does that relate to web RTC? Yep. Uh, f free RTC, we, we are using the community. We, we all came together into RTC techn web RTC technologies as free RTC. We call them all as free RTC. Free RTC is just the name, because web RTC, I think, was code proprietary to Google or something. So free RTC is, it's basically does the same job, but it is free and open source. So that is, our project is for free RTC. Yeah. Uh, have you tried approaching WordPress to get this integrated? Because WordPress has two, as far as I understand it. One is the wordpress.com where many people have their public blogs, and then there's WordPress.org, yep. which basically people have their own servers, and then they set it up as you share. Yep. I think what will be more nicer if you can get this integrated in WPCOM, then more people will be able to access that service. Yeah, so yeah. Any movement in that? Uh, I would like to inform audiences audience about WordPress that what WordPress.com and what, what WordPress.org is. WordPress.org is the community website. It's developing the uh, WordPress software, and you can reach the community to ha get help. Uh, we, we, get, we get WordPress version from that website. WordPress.com is the uh, allow users to create sub WordPress sites and manage your, their website. Uh, it's a really nice idea to support WordPress.com, but we are not. We couldn't. It's not that mature yet. We are just. We have just finished the WordPress plugin, and it will be really a good idea. I, I will not. Uh, so I'd like to add to that. So the plugin creation was done maybe two weeks ago, I believe. Right. Yeah, so it's very, very new. We'd like to have more feedback, more testing done, and make sure that there are no bugs and everything works just fine before we approach them. But it's a great suggestion. We'd like to note that down. Thank you.
Yeah, have you applied for the uh, plugin repository access? No, we, we haven't applied it yet. Okay. So actually, uh, this, this is the uh, vpcall.org is the website for the plugin. So we are really open to any, any support, any, okay. any help. Okay. We, we much appreciate it. I'll surely try to. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It's yeah. good. And we have, we have this website ju just created to create some new plugins easily using JS Communicator. And thanks, thanks for our uh, mentors, Mr. Daniel and Mr. Bruno, for supporting us. Okay. And just for that question that a series had about WordPress.com, so WordPress.org uh, is the community website for downloading the CMS software and running it on your servers. And WordPress.com is a multi-site installation that is already available publicly. So you can go and, down, uh, go and run your, like, get a site for yourself. That is what the product is. Anyways, that I think WordPress.com is their own proprietary thing of like something, yeah. Yeah. but uh, it's just an in, uh, instance of that WordPress.org CMS. Anyways, thank you. Yeah. Right. WordPress.com anybody can access easily, but WordPress.org you have to download the software. And one one name you forgot to mention. We'd also like to thank our mentor Juliana Lubak <laughs> if she's listening. I'm sorry we left out your name in between. <laughs> so um, and integration.md that link that you had given. And it's about basically about how to integrate all these plugins, um, JS Communicator and all that. So whichever website or whichever CMS that you're hosting, if you can get, get in touch with us, if it's not there in the integration.md file, we'll, we'll try to help you out and see how you can use what the software that we're building for your site, even if it needs an extra plugin creation. Or we're, we're very open, this is very new. So we, we'd like the community to know about it. So, anything else? Any questions? Yeah, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You've been great.